how to be the next Bill Gates. That can be Microsoft. Man, man. All these books I'm reading. Oh, man, I got all the time in the... Oh, hey, hi, how you doing? Uh, just working on my C++. <laughs> uh, okay. My name is Derek Allen. I'm the senior golf professional here at Rancho Park Golf Course in Los Angeles. On behalf of the Department of Recs and Park and the City of Los Angeles, I've designed some golf tips that you can use to stay at home. These tips are using everyday objects that you find around the kitchen, around the house, uh, to help improve your short game, chipping, putting, and your visualization skills. I hope these tips help and uh, be patient. We'll be open soon and ready to go. Okay, okay, so I got a couple things here. <sighs> glasses. <sighs> yeah, some glasses. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> and a frying pan. Give me some pancakes. Okay, but <sighs> glasses and pancakes. I'm going to show you guys a little uh, drill that you guys can use at home where you hit it off your skillet and back into the glass. Or you just use a skillet by itself and reflect the ball back and forth. And basically what you're doing is you're learning your feel. This is not about power, it's finesse. You're going to hit the ball here, it's going to come back into the cup. It's almost like a ricochet. This is going to be some fun stuff. Woo! Okay, hi. Hey, so we're here and we're ready to get started. What's our next uh, object? So basically I got a couple things here. I got a weight, a flower pot. Um, I have a skillet. Hmm, flapjacks. <laughs> and I have two glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something interesting. You, can, you don't have to use glass. Your wife will kill you. Or you just use plastic cups for the kids and it's perfect. Um, when I was a kid, I used these cups to toss balls in, to uh, roll balls in, to putt balls in on the carpet. Um, they can be amazing. But what we're going to do, we're going to do something interesting here. We're going to watch this. What I want to do is, uh, and you can use plastic cups. I'm going to put the uh, flower pot here and put a weight on it to hold it. And I'm, this is only like five feet away, uh, barely. And I'm going to put the pot at this angle. And basically all I'm going to do is, um, you can do this two ways. Uh, you can do one drill where all you're doing is just practicing uh, how to drop. And, you, and you, just want the, you want to hit the pot center, and then you just want the ball to roll back gently. And so watch this. And you don't want to do this too hard. Just like that, perfect. And that's all you want to do. And you want to see if the ball comes back straight. See how the ball is coming back? And this is just a small little drill. There you go, awesome. Ah! So you're gonna just drop, little fundamentals. Uh, most amateurs, remember, uh, one of the biggest problems with most amateurs is they create too big of a follow through. And you don't want to uh, do an excessive follow through. So you want to drop, let the club drop. That's as much of a follow through as you need. Okay, you want to release the club head, you want to let it drop, and that's all you need to get the ball to go where you want it to go. All of this here and here creates more drama than it's worth. Okay, trust me. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is just this small little drill you can do at home. Just take it back. See, didn't hit it correctly, and the ball doesn't go where I want to, and all I'm trying to do is, oh, see, I hit that one too hard. See, I made it look easy in the beginning, huh? So all I'm doing is just trying to drop, get it to drop. Perfect, back to me. Just do that little drill. Um, take 100 balls at a time, go back. See how many you can do at a time. Uh, 50, 25, 100 uh, uh, in a row. Back to you, back to you, back to you, back to you. And then what you do is gradually from this drill, you're gonna move it out further. This is where it gets tougher because then, um, uh, of course, as it gets further out, the accuracy help, uh, uh, is affected. But let's do a couple. We're gonna do it, and we want to remember hit this center and back bounce to uh, back, bounce it back to us. Okay. So let's go again. Let's try it with here one more. Nice, nice, good shot. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and this is those skillet tests or skillet drill. Oh, see, I hit it too hard. So basically, you want to keep this really nice and tight and drop. Okay, and you can bounce. You can practice bouncing it in there uh, or hit it first. Bouncing, good, or just hit it directly. Uh, I hope this drill helps. Um, yay, money! Uh, I hope this drill helps. It's really amazing, uh, good actual practice, and it's actually good mental concentration and good mental food. Um, I'll see you next time, and I'm gonna try this some more. 
Uh, my game's gonna get better. In the house, getting the game together. <laughs> it's gonna be nice when I get on the golf course.